Assalamualaikum friends, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can share a partition of your device using the NFS protocol. So as you can see, I have two machines right here, the client and the server. So I'll be creating a partition or like a folder or a directory that I'm going to be sharing with this client machine that it's going to have access to read and write or change whatever uh, inside this directory. So for this, as I said, we're going to be using NFS protocol. So for this, we need to actually install it. So NFS install, uh, sudo apt install. Uh, NFS, NFS, it's called kernel server, yeah, hit enter, and while it actually installs, I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to be installing a different package right here, so it's going to be apt install, NFS common, common, yeah, like this, hit the password, yeah, so now we have actually now installed the package, all we have to do is just to edit the following file, I'm going to be using vim instead of nano, you can use nano if you want, so etc, uh, it's called exports. As you can see, the file already has a documentation of what you, you need to do to edit the file. So let's actually get into insert mode. And right here, I'm going to be adding the new directory that I'm going to be uh, exporting. So it's going to be at MNT. I haven't created, uh, I didn't create the directory yet, but just create it now. So let's call it NFS. Um, afterwards, as you can see, this port right here, or like we're using actually Avenger 2 or Virgin 3. So I'm going to be just using this block right here. So let's just copy and I'm going to explain what is this. So the host name, I'm just going to specify uh, which users can actually access this partition. So I need the IP address of my uh, client machine. So it's 192.168.0.111, I believe. Yeah. 113, 113, yeah, 113, yeah, cool, so 113, and writing uh, the RW means the, that I'm going to give it a read and write, and the sync means that I'm going to synchronize the changes of this file, uh, no subtree, the, like, it disables the checks of the file that's contained in this directory, and it also uh, increases the uh, transfer speed, so I'm just going to stick to this like as it is, and just, Close this now. Oops. Now, uh, what you want to do after so is actually create this directory that you're going to be sharing. So for this, sudo make there. And as I said, it was at MNT, it's going to be at MNT NFS. Now let's go to this directory. So sudo MNT NFS, and let's touch a new file right here. Let's say uh, data data.txt. Let's say. Uh, yeah, I need permission tonight, sudo. So now if we actually print, we have this file right here. So when I map this partition from the other drive, I should see this file also, right? So let's actually get started. Uh, you can actually do this permanently or you can actually like mount it permanently or temporarily. So first I'm just gonna do it temporarily and show you how you can do it uh, permanently. So to mount it, I'm just gonna using the mount command. The type is gonna be NFS. And what I'm going to be um, mounting, I have to specify the directory, right? But this directory is not connected to a machine, it's on a remote server. So this means you need the IP address. So 168.1 IP, yeah, 114. And the directory is at MNT, and it was called NFS. And I want to mount this to the following partition right here, which is MNT. I didn't create this, but Let's hit enter. As you can see, only root can use this. So actually first, I, I didn't specify sudo, and also I didn't create the second directory on the client machine. So let's actually get the, get this done. So enter. Let's call this, let's say, NFS share instead, so that we can actually know the difference that the NFS share is on the client and the NFS is on the server side. Yeah, so back to this command again, and hit sudo. As you can see, uh, this mount point does not exist because I've made these changes, but I didn't actually restart the service. So I actually need to restart it. So system CTL restart, and as it said, it's called kernel server dot service. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is alright. So status. So yeah, everything is working. Now let's try to do this again. So and you see the partition does not exist right here. Ah, because this one doesn't exist. Share. Yeah, yeah, now it works. So let's actually change the directory to the NFS. As you can see, we have this file, but if we actually print this in the long format, 
you'll see that this file is owned by the root user and actually the whole directory is owned by the root user so if I actually try to touch uh, let's say new file like new the text I will actually get permission denied and if I even try sudo I'll also get permission denied because I'm not the user I'm not the owner of this directory it is on the remote server so to solve this problem uh, in a simple way you can just instead just uh, get a directory above and I'm just gonna be changing the permissions so sudo uh, change mod I'm gonna give a full access to all users on this directory so let's make this recursive and yeah NFS and I'm gonna do the same thing with the owners so I'm gonna also change the owners but, but instead of actually specifying a specific user I'm gonna just type no user and no group so that it matches actually all the users and all the groups so hit enter uh, invalid user it's not called no user it's called no user name I think huh it's not called this also okay well I think it might be just no user buddy uh, nobody nobody I mean like no buddy so that matches all the users now hit enter it's worked and if we actually just print the long format as you can see that the permission has changed now we get back if I do ls as you can see the the changes took place right away because we're using the sync that I've specified in the log file in the configuration file so if I should now do the log form you can see that we actually uh, can now edit this file so maybe I can just go nano okay I'm just gonna use nano so nano data I'm just gonna say this is from client and now if we go to the server get this file so nfs we have this data and you can see that the message got updated from the client side uh, one last thing that uh, that we're gonna do is I'm gonna auto mount this file on reboot so to do so instead of just writing um, this mount line right here every time you want to uh, boot this server up I'm just gonna boot it on start so once this machine client machine boots up it actually automatically connects to this server so to do so we need to edit the following file let's just first amount this uh, partition so mnt and of share uh, it's actually busy because I'm in the in the directory itself so let's just get out of it yeah now let's try it again yeah now it works uh, now we should actually edit the following file so we're going to also be using vim etc and it's called actually fs tab yeah which actually uh, this file is dedicated to mounting partitions so what I'm going to be doing right here is just let's just get in the insert mode and right here is the directory that you want to boot and as I said it's on a remote server so we have to specify the IP address so 162.168.0.114 uh, and then the directory that we want to mount is called NFS and we want to mount at the following directory at M uh, MNT NFS share it's called and the type of this partition is NFS we're going to be using the NFS protocol to load it and that's going to hit the default seconds for the rest and now just uh, save this oops yeah now to actually I'm gonna uh, now it actually does exist let's actually try to see the NFS now you will see that it's empty right because this is the empty directory we don't have any uh, partitions booted on it right so uh, now to, to show you how this works I'm just gonna be doing a quick reboot and show you that after the reboot this partition is already uh, mounted so yeah I'm just gonna fast forward this so yeah the machine booted up let's connect to it again and let's change the directory to MNT MNT and the NFS share now let's print and as you can see this file already exists so we already booted this uh, partition or this directory on boot start like on the machine booting up so actually yeah that's how to do it and thank you for watching guys and see you on the next one